Hi guys, how are you? I hope all are doing well. So today in this video, I am just going to cover how to create a Snowflake connection in IACS. So first of all, to create the connection, Snowflake connection in IACS, you need um you need a snowflake account uh, if you have licensed one then fine if you don't have licensed one just go through this url uh, i'll i'll give this url in the description so just go to this url and i just register here uh, this is 30 days free trail version if you register here you will get uh, you will get a mail to your uh, uh, email which is going to give here uh, like to activate or uh, just like this uh, to activate the account within 20, 72 hours you have to activate uh, by clicking on this link and after that you will get the credentials uh, you need to go through this url and you need to sign up here after then it will open like this okay so like this you can get the 30 days free trial version of slow flag account just remember after 30 days it will expire if you are not going to um, um purchase that and here worksheets is there like a, this is like sql worksheet you can you can do it with uh, uh, sql language or python um so i'm going to write a code in sql so i'm going to select the worksheet with sql so this is the one so here you can write the queries in this like select the star from and you can create anything you can do it uh, in this in this worksheet like it's like an editor and if you don't know like uh, how to create the database and all i'm just going to show you so this is the data part here you can see databases um first of all these are the sample databases they have they have given i haven't created it if you if you want to create a database just click on this and uh, you will give some database name i'll give my name as create the test some this is the database name i'm going to give create the test comment is optional so it's created the database so these are the schemas default schemas information schema and public schema they it's created if you wanna create another schema you can give some schema like uh, i'll give as test okay this is the my schema name so it's created a schema now if you wanna create a table then go to worksheet and here just create new one sql worksheet and here just create some table create table database name dot uh, schema name dot uh, and table name i'll create as uh, some customer okay so this is the table and I'm going to create fields, I mean columns, ID and integer. And name as character of uh, 20. Okay. So it's created a table successfully. So I'm going to create, uh, I mean, I'll insert the values also. Insert
insert into table values i'll give one comma create the Same, I'll create for another one. Okay. So I'll just run it. So select the star from, I'm just going to see the data. See, this is the data which I have inserted. So I have inserted two rows. So it's showing here. So this is the way how we can work with the snowflake. Now I'm going to create a connection for this uh, to access this table from snowflake in IACS. Okay. This is, I mean, administrator. I already created a connection. Here you can see, but I will create one more time. I'm just going to create a snowflake connection. We'll locate the this database. And description is optional. And here you have to give snowflake informatica. Okay. And uh, here my runtime environment. It's a standard one only and username, password. Snowflake username and password and account. This account where we'll get it is like you can see here. Sorry. Um, but it's just databases. Go to admin. Here go to accounts. Here if you see, this is the account. Okay, if you click on this, you will get this URL copy this current url or otherwise just uh, take it from here till before uh, snowflake computing okay dot snowflake computing till before this is the one your account go to administrator and give this account here okay and here warehouse also you can see Here itself, here in the warehouses, you can see this is the default one, computes wh, compute underscore wh. So that one we have to give here. Okay. Then test connection. The test connection is successful. You can save it. Okay. Connection saved successfully. Now just go to data integration part, data integration module. I'm just gonna create one sample mapping to test like from 
uh, whatever I have created the table. Uh, from there, I just wanna, uh, I just wanna get the data and uh, uh, going to keep in the flat file. I'm just going to create one sample mapping. We'll check the connection here. The data successfully is coming or not. So I'm just going to create a new mapping. So create. And source. I'm just going to create a connection. Uh, now whatever I have created. This connection snowflake connection I'm going to give. And I'm going to select the object. Basically in talent and all, it will ask schema and all, but here it just, it, it haven't asked any schema. Here it is asking, not in uh, connection creation time. So this is the one, the database, which I have created now. And in this uh, test, test is the schema, which I have created. So the customer table, this is the customer table from just now I just created this one, right? So this one, I'm just creating, I'm selecting. So this is the one. Now I'm going to uh, create a target. The connection I'm going to take, flat file connection. So, I'm going to create runtime and runtime file. So, create new at runtime. So, I'm just going to give the file name as ff underscore customer. I'm just going to read the data from uh, table to flat file. read the table and write into the flat file. So I'm just formatting options I'm going to. So comma delimiter it's okay. So I'm going to create text qualifier as none. Save it. I'm just going to run. Let's see. It's running. I have created two rows, which reflect two rows only. So see this is two rows successfully written to the file. Now I am going to check that file. So this is the file, the customer. See, it's written correctly. So. You got it right. How to get the data from Snowflake. So this is the simple example to create Snowflake trail account and Snowflake connection in IACS and how to get the read the data from uh, Snowflake. Okay. Thank you all for uh, uh, being